Well, welcome everybody back to the Figure Kit Garage, fellow resin heads and kit builders. Brent Krug back with another out of the box review. The kit on the table is the second offering in the series of characters from the film The Monster Squad. Now, previously uh, in this series, I had reviewed kit number one, which was The Mummy, sculpted by Mark Van Tyne and expertly cast by Paul Gill. This again is another co-production of Typhon Studios and Gilman Productions. This is from Gilbert, the King of Models. This is a one quarter scale bust, also sculpted by Mark Van Tyne in 14 pieces. The main bust, the base, you get two of these big paws that attaches to the bust, and you get 10 of these teeth. This is a limited casting of only 100 pieces to be available and goes for $125 plus shipping and handling. Um, this kit was announced back in July and mine shipped uh, this past Monday along with another kit cast by Paul Gill. This is a Paul Gill twofer, if you will. Um, and arrived on Wednesday. This piece is one of only, I believe, five. Actually, this is the sixth kit, um, garage kit wise, of this character that's ever been done. The first one ever done of the Gill Man itself was a full figure sculpted by Steve Wang in the 1990s for Kyoto. And that kit has been so long out of production, it's ridiculous. Finding one now unbuilt and unpainted, you'd have to solo under one hell of a lucky star to find one. But for a quarter scale piece, Mark expertly captured the overall look of the creature that even though he wasn't on screen for a whole large amount of time in the film, he, le he leaves one heck of an impression on you. It is a complete redesign in the fact that they were, uh, excuse me, Stan Winston Studios was not able to use the original creature from the Black Lagoon due to licensing rights from Universal. So they did a complete redo of the body and the head and came up with their own version, which honestly, in a lot of ways, is an improvement. Makes it much more ferocious looking, which in the film he actually was. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at all the parts and pieces to this kit. And we're going to start off with this bust. And Mark, as I said, expertly captured every nuance and detail of the suit worn by performer Tom Woodruff Jr. All the scale detail, I cannot imagine what he went through to hit every scale beautifully. And please keep in mind, as fantastic as this looks, this is not a 3D printed kit, folks. This was hand sculpted by Mark. Physically, not digitally. But all the way around, you can see Mark nailed the entire likeness of this creature perfectly. A lot of cleanup already having been done. And as I said, all these teeth are going to have to be cut off these little posts individually and glued into the mouth. I couldn't imagine if <laughs> I could not imagine if Paul would have tried to have cast this with those teeth in. It would have I think it would have driven him nuts. But for all that, the casting on this is absolutely fantastic. Paul did an amazing job with every bit of it. 
Very ferocious looking, just as in the film. So big, big shout out to Mark Van Tine for hitting every bit of this. And then we'll go to the arms. All the detail in those big paws. The scaling, the webs between the fingers, the nails. All the detail on the backs of the hands and parts of the forearms. Really, really excellent. A lot of washes and a lot of dry brushing and airbrushing. This is going to be a fun kit to put together. And then the base, typical of the creature itself, sculpted by Mark, undersea rock formation with barnacles and everything else attached to it. And there were two Easter eggs on this base. I think I may have found one of them that Mark did. And it's in this little formation right here. Mark sculpted the man thing. Nice little Easter egg to throw in there. And I had found it just before I started this video. And I could be wrong. But I also believe the other Easter egg is right there, the MVT. You didn't know if you didn't know what you were looking for, you would never even notice it. But Mark's initials right there at the bottom of the base. And since this is numbered, mine is numbered 19 of 100. Nice little creature paw drawn on the underside. Paul Gill's initials etched in and signed by Mark Bantine, 2024. So, really, really fantastic kit. Executed beautifully. And the extras that you see behind him, we get another uh, large size baseball card to go with it. Number two, the Gill Man. And there's a photo on the back of Mark Bantine. Sculpting the piece itself. Really nice to see that. And then the little Gilman trivia about Tom Woodruff Jr., um, who has been in every Alien and Alien vs. Predator film since Aliens, <clears throat> and was also inside the suit for Pumpkinhead. So, nice little bit of trivia there. And then a mini print of the original movie poster. You know who to call when you have ghosts, but who do you call when you have monsters? The Monster Squad. Although it flopped in theaters, it's become one hell of a cult classic over the years. Still love it to this day. And I'm not exactly sure who did this little sticker. To be honest, I should have asked Paul and I didn't. Nice little Gilman sticker that came along with it. Really nice artwork. I like that a lot. Nice stylized gill man. And when doing my homework on this particular character, I had no idea until I looked it up, and I'm going to include a photo of this as proof. But the original creature designers, Matt Rose and Steve Wang, had such a sense of nostalgia doing this character, they actually sculpted and hid the face of the original creature from the Black Lagoon on the neck of the Gilman suit. Had I not even seen this while looking it up, I would have never have known, but it is true. And I'm going to fit that photo in here so you guys can see it. And both artists contributed to the paintwork on the on the creature itself, which if you ever see full color photos of the actual suit, the paintwork is beautiful. So, you know, nice little uh, bit of trivia there. When I found the photo, I couldn't believe it, it actually does exist. And some of the other kits of this character that have been done over the years. Uh, Joe Ladotti did a kit for, I believe it was Alternative Images. It was a full figure. 
Uh, Jeremy Bohr did a life-size 360 series sculpt for Blackheart models. And then DFX Studios did a half-scale bust for Killer Kits. Now, the life-size bust by Blackheart is still available. Uh, the sculpting on it is amazing. And I think the half-scale bust by Killer Kits is also still available. I'm not real sure. But putting this guy together, I'll try to fit him in as best I can. Not sure if I'm going to be able to keep his paws attached without him falling off. I don't want to break those nails. Not for any reason. My camera mount's been acting up, so I'm going to have a hard time zooming back out. Let me see if I can get his paw to stick a little bit. Without all of his teefers, there is the Gill Man from the Monster Squad. I'm not sure if I have my ruler or my tape measure out here. Oh, there's my tape measure. Let's see how tall he is. From the bottom of the base to the top of the fin. Right at 10 and one quarter inches tall. So, with the small footprint that that base has, he's not going to take up a whole lot of room except height. And that that's negligible. For this kit, it's as amazing as it looks, as terrifying as it looks, and as cool as it looks. Isn't it worth displaying something like this? I think it is. So that is this review of the Gill Man, sculpted by Mark Van Tyne for Gilbert Models. I'm going to put this friendly fella away, and when I come back, we will check out the newest release uh, from the Jaeger Army, sculpted by Jeff Jaeger. You guys will love that one. It's a kid I've been eagerly awaiting. So... Stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, we are back for the second kit in this Paul Gill twofer. Uh, sitting on the table is the kit that I have been eagerly anticipating since it was first announced. Um, this kit is called Bitten. It is the third in the Jeff Yeager Signature Series lineup. Um, these are kits that Jeff has wanted to do um, in his own style, in his own way. And this is an absolutely beautiful piece consisting of three heads, one arm, and then the three bodies are cast together to form the base. And then you also have a signature, uh, signature plaque with Jeff Yeager's name that will uh, attach to the back side of it. But this depicts Lon Chaney Jr. and Maria Uspenskaya from the 1943 film Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman. And that film was really cool because it put two of the top monsters in the Universal Film franchise together for the very first time ever. And it told the tale of Larry Talbot, who travels with Maleva to find a cure for his curse of becoming the Wolfman. And along the way, he stumbles across the Frankenstein monster. And eventually, the two of them wind up duking it out uh, in a laboratory. And I won't spoil the rest for those of you who haven't seen it. But Jeff captured all three of the characters perfectly. This was a kit that was announced 
back in, I believe it was July or June. I cannot remember off the top of my head. Actually, no, this is now it's all the way back in April of this year. And as I said, this is the third in the series. The first in the series was a two bust set called Friend, which depicted the blind man and the Frankenstein monster from the film The Bride of Frankenstein. The second in the series depicted Glenn Strange as the Frankenstein monster and Boris Karloff, who played Dr. Neiman in the film House of Frankenstein. And that was the scene of the Frankenstein monster dragging Dr. Neiman to safety, except they both wound up sinking to their death in a pool of quicksand. So for this kit, uh, to be the third in the line, I think Jeff really hit the subject perfectly, to say the least. Uh, his talent for likenesses, um, especially with the Universal Monster franchise, the characters, I don't think Jeff has any equal in that respect. And when we look at the close-ups of each of the faces, you'll understand why. And we'll start off with... The portrait of Larry Talbot, um, again played by Lon Chaney Jr. And Jeff hit the look of anguish and torment in his face and in his eyes, especially around his eyes. I don't, I don't know, other than maybe my Pure in Heart kit, which was the first kit that I ever reviewed here on the Figure Kit Garage. I don't think I've ever seen a likeness of Lon Chaney in such a state of anguish that's been sculpted this way before. And it's, it's absolutely spot on. The hair detail, really beautifully captured. Minor cleanup, nothing to shout about. Really, really well done. And then we mo move on to the portrait of Maleva, the gypsy woman. Jeff definitely did his homework to capture her likeness. Just excellent with all the wrinkles in the face. What little hair from underneath the scarf. Yeah, he hit this likeness out of the park as well. Really, really well done. And then last but certainly never least, Lon Chaney Jr. again as the Wolfman. And as you can see, the fur texturing all over. Really, really well rendered. The snout the teeth and this is the only one of the three that actually has the eyes sculpted in uh, the other two will have to be painted by hand but just amazing likeness to arguably my favorite of all the universal monsters has always been the wolfman that was the, one of the biggest reasons why i jumped on this can't have too many Wolfman kits in your collection. And then the single hand that attaches to the side. There we go. Fur texturing. The claws. The cuff of the shirt sleeve. This is just a perfect tribute. Uh to this movie and these characters, and I'll take these portraits out and bring this up close. As I said, the bodies of all three of the characters are cast together in one shot. We have Larry Talbot's suit and shirt, and then all the chain work that Jeff did on the Leva's outfit. Absolutely gorgeous. And the shawl that she wears in the film. And then 
the ties to her scarf, which don't exactly meet up, but a little finagling will make that. All right, no big deal there. It's not bottle building if you can't scratch build something. And then the shirt of the Wolfman himself, the uh, chest fur. And around the back side, there's also the fur that will come off the back of the head. I have to do a little bit of blending on that, but nothing major. It'll be a lot of fun. But Jeff's attention to detail and the way he did this, the tree coming up around the back, what feels like stone texturing. Now this is absolutely beautifully designed and thought out by him. I could not be happier with having this in my collection and the nameplate will sit right there. Very pleased with this. The purchase was well worth it. Very highest marks to Jeff for his sculpting and definite uh, call out to Paul Gill for his casting of this. I know this could not have been easy, especially with that body. I don't even want to think about how big the damn mold is. Now, the initial price uh, offered by Jeff for this piece was $160. <clears throat> for the first 40 purchases, and that was for Jaeger Army members only. I do not know what the current cost of the kit is. Um, the first 40 spots filled up incredibly fast after this was announced. So, if you are interested in this, please contact Paul Gill. As well, the same for uh, the Gill man from the Monster Squad. Um, Definitely get a hold of Paul and see what the availabilities of these kits are going to be. Um, this uh, this particular one is called Bitten. Um, this is not a limited edition run, so it should still be available. I'm not sure how far along Paul is on the uh, on the list for the Jaeger Army members. There is a secondary list after the discount. So you would have to uh, get with him and find out how far along he is on the list. But very big thank you to Jeff and Paul for making this piece happen. I'm very happy to have this. So for this review, actually, let me say that again. For these reviews of the Gilman from the Monster Squad, co-produced between Gilman Productions and Typhon Studios, which is Gilbert, the king of models, Mike Calvert and Paul Gill together, sculpted by Mark Van Tyne, and Bitten, Jaeger Army Signature Series number three, sculpted by Jeff Jaeger and expertly cast by Paul Gill yet again. This has been the Figure Kit Garage. Everybody stay happy, stay healthy, Stay safe. Keep building kits.